we told them that the time has come. You will no longer force us with the barrel of the gun to remain in Nigeria. Nigeria can never ever defeat Biafra Amen. the second time. Said, Mark my word. I said, Nigeria will never defeat Biafra Amen. with the barrels of the gun. Amen. And this time around, the Union can no longer stand by force by the barriers of the gun. Yes. Amen. So, yeah. And the reason why this particular town hall meeting is taking place is so that Biafrans in those countries we are visiting today, we are in the United Kingdom, for them to understand that the freedom of Biafra is here. It's here. It does not matter whether you believe it or not. We will drag you into freedom. Because many of the people who are not supporting now are people that ordinarily in a working society your right to make decision will be deprived from you and legal guidance will be assigned to you because many of you are brain dead and that is the fact if you cannot support your own freedom at this point with what is going on in nigeria it means you are not capable you are not mentally fit you are not fit physically and otherwise to make decisions concerning your future and that is exactly the way it is. So my people in the United States, the kingdom, I do not want to waste time before I make a very brief speech because I can see that the spirit has overwhelmed everybody and the uh, donation will continue. But I just want to make a little bit update uh, as that may be the only update I will give or the speech I will make today. What we do in the government is in the open. We are not hiding anything. We are not you know, underground or doing it secretly that, you know, we don't want to talk so that the enemies will not copy what we are doing. We are in the open. And for the past few days, what we decided to do was to show to the enemy little of our capability. A lot of people never believed that the kind of sophisticated weapon we have today will be in Biafra land. And let me tell you, this is, the, this is the beginning. The reason why you see them crying for the very first time in the history of Nigeria mm. at the National Assembly. The reason why you see them sharing flyers of Simon Ekpa. The reason you see those terrorists who have killed us unchallenged for many years, crying today for the very first time, is because of most of those things you see on social media. We just decided to show to those who are not aware of what is happening because it is not being reported anywhere you you can never hear in the nigeria news that 30 armor tanks were destroyed you can't hear it when we say it a lot of people think it's a joke you can't hear that, that helicopter and fighter jet is bombarding biafra territory you can't hear it in the news when we announce it a lot of people think you know uh, it is uh, we are joking so we decided that we will showcase some of the things that you have supported the government to be able to do in defense, only defense. There are many things happening diplomatically. There are many things happening in many sectors of the government. There are many things going on internationally that we are yet to make public. We've engaged lobbyist firm, lobbyists, we've engaged international consultancy firms, we've engaged many, many things and many, many organizations that many, many people don't know about. It is part of this particular liberation phase. What we are trying to do is to make sure we put Biafra in the global stage of discussion. As soon as we continue the second stage of the self-referendum voting a lot of things will be made public and by then things will begin to take shape but the promise we are making to the biafra people is that no terrorist will enter biafra land and attack and go back to tell the story to those who send it nobody not those in uniform not those in ragtag not the non-state actors not the state actors we will engage them 
It may not be immediately. But whoever that come to Biafra land to attack, believe me, his days is numbered. It is self-defense, the most aggressive one that the Biafra government have activated. Nigeria have killed us for ages. Mazen Amdikan was broadcasting on Radio Biafra for many years, but because of criminals that surrounded him, the use the opportunity of Biafra, and when he called upon the people that want to fight for Biafra, many criminals embraced that call. After eight years, he was crying for just 100 men. Nobody is talking about it anymore. There are millions of Biafrans following him, shouting, our leader, our leader, shouting Biafra, Biafra, and he was shouting 100 men. Today, you have seen the reason why he was shouting 100 men. Because almost all of them turned their back on Biafra. Almost all of them today are supporting Nigeria. Almost all of them today turn back to support those who killed them in Abba. The same people that were shouting, give us gun, we need bullet, we need gun, we need gun, today are shouting and supporting those who murdered them in Enugu. That was the reason Mazen Amdekar was shouting 100 men because he couldn't see anybody. He saw that all of them are fake. When he make decision to stop election, these same people that call themselves DOS or IPOB today, which is IPOB Nigeria, there will be the same people go back to him to persuade him. After they have collected money from the governors, they will go back to him. You want to cancel election? You want to cancel election? You want to boycott election? You want them to tag us terrorists? If you boycott election, they will call you terrorists. I want to know how can stopping election as a freedom fighting movement will make you become a terrorist. Is there any relationship between stopping election as a freedom fighting movement and terrorism? How does that amount to terrorism? When you just going to tell people to stay at home, how does that amount to terrorism? We did it. Did we take our word back? The answer is no. Did we stop the election? Yes, we did. Over 25 million people who registered for election, only 20 something, uh, only 4 million people voted. 20 something million boycotted the election. Are we a terrorist? The answer is no. Are we the one who killed people in Lagos for election? Not us. It was the Nigeria state, the terrorist state of Nigeria that committed act of terrorism during the election. And that is what we try to prevent our people from becoming a victim. And many who did not listen to us fall victim of this election, the first election. Those who were killed, did anybody remember them? The answer is no. Those who were butchered in Lagos, did anybody remember them? The answer is no. Did anybody compensate their family? No, the answer is no. Did anybody, those who lost their businesses in Lagos, that their businesses were born to ashes, did anybody compensate them? The answer, till today, the answer is no. Now I ask you, who are the terrorists? But these people deceived Onyendu for many years. If not because of the glory of God, Biafra would have lost trust in him. Because there is nothing in this world like when a man says something and doesn't stand up by it. There has been a lot of many times they declared back out election. At the dying minute, they will call it because he was under pressure by the same people who was fighting Biafra with him. He never knew then that these people were all fake until the last minute when he said, I need 100 men. I cannot see any men here. He asked, which people am I going to go to war with? People don't understand. Those genuine people today may not understand what was going on. He was shouting for 100 men. Where there are millions of people, IPOB scattered all over the world. This man was shouting for 100 men. He couldn't find any 100 men among them. Today, I promised him that 
when he is coming out, he will have millions of Biafrans who are genuine. And he is coming out with the Biafra flag. Believe me, Mazen Namdekan will be released in a very historic manner. And what they want us to do is to stop Biafra struggle and begin to fight for the release of Mazen Namdekan in place of the Biafra struggle. Because we understand this very well. We defeated that plan. Many of them today is being used. That's why you can see some people who call themselves uh, Jewish or whatever, they will gather in their number, they will write script and give them, say, oh, uh, Mazen Amdekano is not here. Just go and say, don't support a referendum because Mazen Amdekano. So they want you to make, they want to make Mazen Amdekano the fight that you have to be fighting. And today, we are killing the bed. We are killing many bed with one stone. Do you understand the point? As they hold him, we have proven to them that holding him will never stop Biafra. We also prove to them that holding him will become the most expensive thing. Mazen Namdekano has become the most expensive commodity under the Nigeria state. The more they hold him, the more expensive it becomes. The more they detain him, the more we will make Nigeria feel the pain of the crime of international kidnapping. The more the whole Mazen Amdekano in dungeon, the more Nigeria economy will go down. We will crash it. Believe me. Because it is not just about Mazen Amdekano. It is about thousands of Biafrans who are now being detained and many of them are dying on a daily basis. This has happened for many years. I want you to understand what Nigeria is. For those who were supporting Mazen Amdekano, only to turn back because he was kidnapped from Kenya. Abiola was killed by Nigeria. Because of the interest of other Nigerians, he was killed. Today, he is in the history. This idiot from Yoruba land, under Yoruba, who called himself the son of Fela, his father was killed. Today, he is part of the history of Nigeria. His grandmother was killed. They are now part of the history of Nigeria. The worst is that the prominent men in Yoruba land, have many of them have been murdered by Nigeria state. But whenever they have one small opportunity, they forget them. Even to the point that a son of a victim, the guy who's supposed to be the most angered person in Nigeria today, whose father was murdered by injection, is now calling those fighting what his father did, cowards. I want you people to understand that Nigeria have seen, in fact, they have not seen what is coming. God will use me to end Nigeria, mark my word. God will use me to end Nigeria. He said, for the interest of millions of people, the atrocity of Nigeria, the prayers of many people and those that were killed by hunger, those children, their cry, God to God. And God used many years to mold this time. I told them from the beginning, you see, I have come to end the journey of this Biafra struggle. This year, after the Biafra declaration on the 2nd of December, we will know who is going to run away from the South, South and Southeast. I have no other update to give you, but I have come to assure those criminals and terrorists in Nigeria state that God will use me to end Nigeria. And the end of Nigeria has begun. When Mazen Amdekano was preaching, he said, Somali will be better than Nigeria. <laughs> Are you not seeing it? The good news is that at the end, freedom will come. And the West continue to make mistake of allowing us in Africa to carry gun before they listen to us. The mistake we have done in Sudan, 
in Ethiopia, in Eritrea, in many places. Something that we can resolve amicably. Ordinary asking for freedom is a problem. The people you will kill you for asking for your freedom. And if you don't defend yourself, your history will be gone. It will be wiped away from the surface of the earth. Mm -hmm. And today, we will not be wiped away by Nigeria. Because we have come to end it. Our forefathers paid the heaviest price of being in Nigeria. And we are not going to leave that particular price for our children unborn to pay. We will end it in this generation. So from the 2nd of December, the music will change. Nigeria we don't Nigeria don't know what is coming. We will show them that the people you killed in the 60s, we have never forgotten them. The scars is very fresh. The humiliation on our children. They were they were dying and they saw all those stomach being swelled up and they were dying in thousands on daily basis, mm -hmm. up to three million. Nigeria is evil and must end. The only way to end it is when they come with AK-47, you bring your, your own AK-47. When they come with bomb, you bring your own bomb. Mm -hmm. It is fire for fire, gun mm -hmm. for gun, until the world will listen to us. Mm -hmm. yes. And that listening to us, they have ignored us for many years. Mm -hmm. This year will be the day, the, the, the year mm -hmm. that the Biafra and our own cry will ring a bell mm -hmm. to the highest level. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Bia France. And I want to fulfill that promise whenever. So the promise I'm making to the United Kingdom today, Bia France in the United Kingdom, is that when I was in the U.S. a few weeks ago, last week, I promised them that uh, the satellite radio and all that will be, and the TV will be uh, on air. And today we have the satellite TV, we have the satellite radio. And what I promise, and what I'm still promising here is that we will start, now we have tested the radio and it is working in a bony state. We are going to start from the uh, coastal uh, Biafra to the hinterland. We have already have some transmitters in the hinterland. So Akwai Bomb State, the former Akwai Bomb State, in the next two weeks, will have voice of Biafra satellite radio all over Akwai Bomb. That's my promise. In the next two weeks, we are going to have them in Akwai Bomb and from there, spread to Ugocha, spread to Bayosa, spread to all the coastal delta before we come to the hinterland. That is the promise I'm making to you. But it starts in the next two weeks from today. Thank you. There you go. Thank you, sir. Oh, but oh, yeah. oh,